Hi everyone, it's me, Lindsay, with Equip Me OT, here today to talk about compression sock donning techniques and tools. This is an update to a previous video that I did that's going to include several more uh, strategies and an additional tool that you could use for yourself or for a loved one or for a client to assist them with getting their compression socks on. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about a few things that I didn't mention in my first video that can be super, super helpful to have on hand when you are about to deal with compression sockings, which can be notoriously difficult to manage. So one of the things that I didn't mention before that I really strongly encourage is having some sort of rubber glove. Now, whether that's a reuse or a disposable rubber glove solution, like something you would find in most hospital or clinical settings, or or I really like these reusable rubberized gloves um, that you can get at the hardware store. You can buy them specifically from the manufacturers of the compression stockings, but the idea being that they have this rubber coating on the palm to make it much easier to grip those really slippery nylon style um, compression garments. And that can be really helpful to making sure you get all the wrinkles out and you don't have any trouble gripping on them when you go pull them up over your leg. So that's a great option. Another thing that I have found that is quite helpful are an additional stool. Now these are actually manufactured and um, sold as a tool for individuals to do at-home pedicures. So they kind of act as a support for the foot to kind of elevate it up off the floor and simply placing it in front of you and giving you yourself a place to elevate your foot without having to hold your leg up while you're doing the process, whether you're doing it for yourself or for somebody else, can be extremely helpful. So I'll go ahead and link these down below. All the products I talk about in this video will be available there in the description. So this is something I've added to my arsenal of tools that make this process much easier. So stick around, I'm gonna show you three additional tools and techniques that will help you get your compression socks on with much less frustration. The first technique is one of my favorites. This is a free option. It's how to get a compression stock on, sock on with a plastic bag. Now, this is a great solution for people who want a free option. Perhaps they're only gonna be using socks, compression stockings for a short period of time following a procedure or surgery or if they're waiting on another piece of equipment to arrive. This is a great short-term solution. I don't recommend using it forever because you'd go through a lot of bags and that's kind of wasteful. So, but this is how you would do that. The first step is to locate a standard grocery style plastic bag. You want it with handles, okay? So you're gonna grab that bag and you're gonna kind of straighten it out here and find the very bottom, just like that, okay? And then you're just going to cut a hole. You need to cut a hole in the bottom of the bag. Okay. So now you should have a bag with a hole on the opposite end from the handles. You're going to take your compression stocking and you're going to feed the stocking with the whole end all the way down to the toe. So this takes a little bit of doing, especially on those really stiff compression socks, but I promise it will make the process easier. So now I've got the hole at the toe. And then I'm going to kind of pull my hand out. And I want to make sure I can still find the handles. And mind you, all of these techniques will take a little bit of practice. So don't worry if you don't get it on the first try, you may have to practice a little bit. Okay, I'm using my little, my little stand here to make my life a little easier. Scoot up to the edge of the bed or the edge of the chair. I'm going to Feed my toes in through the end here, and I'm going to just pull the bag. So my toe is actually through the end of the bag. I can feel my toe on the sock tip. That's important because if your foot gets stuck on the bag, you won't be able to pull it out. But now I'm just going to use the bag to help pull the rest of the stocking. This takes a little bit of strength, but now I can pull that stocking. You see how it came up nice and smooth. And now the hole, I just guide it back down over my foot like that. And that is how you would use a plastic bag to assist with your stocking management or your compression stocking management. And so now, as always, you check for wrinkles, make sure it's completely straight on your toe, everything feels and looks good. So there you go for the plastic bag technique. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the technique with a rigid sock aid donner. This is a great tool. It's made out of metal, so it's not going to bend or flex when you use a really high compression stocking. I love this tool for a multitude of reasons. Um, you can also get it in an extended handle version, which is great if you need um, extra assistance because you're not able to bend fully to the floor in or applying your compression stocking. So this is a great tool, one that's been on the market for a really long time. I'll show you how to put this on. So what you're going to do 
is you're going to take your stocking and find the toe, make sure it's all straightened out. And what you're gonna do is bring it be in between this little arched point here, and you're going to kind of turn it inside out. You're gonna invert the sock, again, making sure that the foot is kind of pointed this way towards your own feet. And you're gonna keep pulling down. I've got my rubber gloves on because this is a great one to use for that. You're gonna keep pulling until the heel emerges. So the heel on this particular stocking, and this isn't the case for all of them, is a different color, which is nice because it gives me a visual cue that I've reached the heel of the sock. Um, and you wanna kinda pull it down as far as you can there, um, making sure that the sock stays relatively straight. Now you'll have an opening there that should be available. The sock should be bunched down on this side, but, the, but it shouldn't be folded over itself. You wanna make sure it's just bunched without folding. All right, so now that opening is available for me to stick my foot into. So what you're gonna do is find the foot. And again, this can be helpful if you struggle with holding your legs up, I can use this. Sometimes what I do here is to make sure the toe gets all the way down, is I might grab down along this side and just kind of hold the sock in place and navigate my toes in. Just like that, see how my toes are in now? Now I can use the tool to push my foot through. And then once it gets to a certain point, I can pull. I'm gonna remove this. This socking's a little long for me, so it's not a perfect example. But I'm gonna check for wrinkles. I'm gonna check that it's over my heel straight. Pull it up the rest of the way. Again, the first two techniques I've shown are really quite appropriate for any type of stocking that's going to be knee high. The next technique I'm gonna show you works with stockings that are knee high, thigh high, open toe, so they work with a, a bit more of a variety. So I'm gonna show you that one next. So the third and final technique I'm gonna show you uses a piece of equipment that's new to me, which is called the Sigvaris Donning and Doffing Tool. This is really good for highly um, tight compression stockings, and I like it especially for caregivers who are going to be applying a stocking to somebody else. It takes quite a bit of dexterity to be able to apply this, both get the stocking on and to get it on the leg, um, but I'll show you how this thing works. So it comes in two parts. You have the sock stretcher tool, and then you have the actual donning device, which is this rubberized piece. And I'll show you how this works. One thing you are going to need is a smooth surface. I'm using this chair, which works okay. Your best bet is to have something that's either um, glass or plastic, something very, very smooth, because this tool requires a suction cup base. So I'll show you how this works. It's got this suction cup on the bottom. You're gonna apply this quite firm to the surface and you're gonna use the suction cup to hold it in place, make sure it's steady. steady. You're gonna take your compression stocking and you're going to stretch it down over this tool here so that the toe is down at the end and then you're gonna make sure that this is smooth as far down and that the edge of the sock is available. Then you're gonna take this piece and it simply slides really easily down the sock. Then you're going to retrieve the bottom of the sock just like this and you're gonna start rolling it over that piece. So I just kind of pulled it up over, and you're gonna go about here, so it's like this. Then you're gonna reach down and grab the, the, the actual tool and continue to roll, and see how it starts to roll up over, just like this, until it pops off the end. Now, it's not quite done yet. You want to kind of grab the base of this. So again, my sock has multiple colors to make it a little easier to see, yours might not. But you're gonna squeeze this end, the end opposite of where the toe is. And this takes, this takes some practice. I'm gonna warn you, this took me quite a while to be able to figure out. But you gotta keep rolling it until, there it goes, until the toe is visible, okay? So the toe of the sock is right here. And that's very important. You can't do this without the toe being uh, uh, visible. So then, and this is where if you were the caregiver, you'd be assisting somebody, but if you have good physical movement, you can do this for yourself. Know where the heel is. This is the heel on mine. This is the toe. So when you apply it, you're going to turn it so that the heel is facing away from you. The toe is facing towards you. The seam of the toe is gonna go over your toes, okay? So I'm going to take, and look, this is taking a lot of movement at my hip. I do have a chair here, so if I can't support myself, and I could also use that pedicure tool to then push this over my toe, and you're just going to 
slide, and this thing slides incredibly easy. That's why I love this as a caregiver tool. You just slide it up and down off the foot. And at this point, you might have to do a little bit of adjusting. This is where the rubber gloves come in handy. Kind of smooth out the sock and you're good to go. One of the other nifty features of this tool is it can also help remove the stocking. So this is a really hard challenge for a lot of people. So let me show you real quick how that would work. You simply apply this over the foot. It goes on really easy. You grab the top of the sock, kind of roll it over and watch this. It just pops it right off. Just like that, so easy. One thing though, it's hard to get back off the sock, but at least at this point it's off your leg and that was an easier process. But that's how this particular product works. I hope you got some value out of this video. That was a ton of information. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them down below for me. And as always, if you need more information on how to stay safe and independent in your home and community, consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you.